were some interesting comments in the last DLE222 video I made a couple months ago. I'll put the link to that video in the description. Well, the first comment is, is, does it really produce 51 kilograms of static thrust? That's like 112 pounds of force. And based on the tests you'll see in this video, the answer is no. However, if you do know how to achieve that with this engine, put it in the comments and share any videos or links or tips you have. If this makes 20 horsepower, could you put it on something big enough to ride? And the answer is yes. Some people are putting these on paragliders. And if you look back, uh, look for an ultralight called the Saddler Vampire. That had 20 horsepower. This has more than 20 horsepower. And uh, it, could, it could be used for an ultralight, um, but most ultralights I've seen use around 50 or 60 horsepower. Let's get to the testing. If you want to see all the results, just go to the end of the video. We're going to use 30 to 1 gas to oil mix. I think this is like 91 octane, no ethanol. And we're going to measure a bunch of things. First, we're going to do idle with the factory settings. We're going to measure the fuel consumption, how long it takes to empty this 12 ounce tank. We're going to measure idle RPM, decibel level, and static thrust using this at least we're going to try to use this old scale to measure static thrust and it reads a little high but we'll see if it works here's the tachometer and this will output in rpm you just multiply the number by 10 so if it's like 340 then it's 3400 rpm all right the fuel's in here I put the chokes down. It's a pretty warm day though, so I'll probably open those up pretty soon. Here's the throttle. This takes very little force. I would say maybe uh, three or four ounces to pull this thing all the way in. So you don't need a really high torque servo for this. Here's the blade, the prop. All right, it started to go, so I opened up the chokes here. Five minutes and just short of 530 here's the setup got the engine and this whole thing here moves and it's gonna press up against the scale and then this thing here prevents it all from flying up all right test number two
that was incredible. I went down here to measure the, the force and it hurt me through my earmuffs. I mean, it was so loud. Uh, holy moly. Hey, look. All right, here's the manual, and I believe there are two circuits, one for a low-speed idle and one for a high-speed. So um, this is the old version. This is the new version. They look a little bit different. Now I do notice there's a little H here, right here. So I believe this is the high and this is the low. Turning the low speed needle clockwise will lean the fuel air mixture at low speeds. That's what I'm going to try doing. I'm going to give it a half turn clockwise. Each carburetor is going to get a half turn clockwise here on the low. I want to see if that makes any difference in the idle speed. Test three, testing the lower idle speed. It took about six minutes to get halfway here on the slow idle. Here's a wrap up of all the numbers. We start with the low idle at the lowest speed, work our way to the full throttle. And these are uh, pretty good approximations. The scale might have been slightly, uh, giving slightly more force than was actually there. But um, you can see here the fuel consumption in fluid ounces per minute and then the RPM range and then the decibel level here was not not available because I was holding it on full throttle uh, with one hand and then the other one was filming but uh, it gives you a good uh, estimate if you plan to use this in your model aircraft or for your ultralight alright thank you for watching and take care until next time